What's up guys, Jason of New Age Revolution down here in the cave for the uh, brand new season, whatever that means, of uh, Whatever Happened To. That's right, we're gonna, I got some ideas flowing through my head and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about the things that used to be, the things that made life a little bit better, a lot a bit better actually. Uh, but this time, we might uh, put a, f a different spin on a few episodes. Uh, things that, uh, you know, whatever happened to, but then glad it's gone kind of thing, okay? Um, and, and, and trust me, there's nothing from the 80s that I don't wish would come back. So it's not like, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not turning on anything. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's things that we've basically ruined. And today's uh, episode is going to be a good example of that. Uh, before then, you know, we did the 2,500 subscriber uh, giveaway the other day. Plenty of feedback, and uh, we'll be sending out some DVDs and the, uh, and the G.I. Joe figure um, soon. Uh, hopefully this, this week we'll wrap it up and pick some winners. And, um, you know, a lot of show ideas. So what I did is... Uh, I got I got me one of these deals, and and uh, I actually got it from a garage sale <laughs> for like a dollar, um, a, a crisp clean uh, f three subject notebook, and whenever I see a fresh notebook, I get some fresh ideas, and so this is going to be the channel's notebook, and we're going to be putting a whole lot of fun show ideas in here, and then I'll always just have one notebook. You know, I'm always running around looking for a notebook. This is it. This is the notebook. And uh, that's all right. So let's talk about uh, whatever happened to. Now, uh, this is something Mike, uh, uh, Mike Tyson is, is completely dominating Liam as expected. See, he's used to playing on the Nintendo Switch, which when you play the... So you can... You can um, Nintendo Switch has in their store, you can get for free... Uh, like all of, uh, I don't know, but it's probably like 60 Nintendo games and then 60 Super Nintendo games and they're right there on your Switch. And, and Punch-Out is one of them. And he has been playing Punch-Out. Now he can get all the way to Mike Tyson. However, the there's a feature on the Switch that allows you to stop in the middle of the gameplay and rewind to a stop point. So every time he gets knocked down by anybody, uh, he can stop, rewind, and and keep going. It's crazy, you know, because now he's down here with the Nintendo, and obviously you can't rewind, so Mike Tyson is defeating him in about nine seconds, and then he has to put the code in, because it's not the Switch, and you can't rewind, because that's not how we did it back in the day. All right. Here we go. So, uh, whatever happened to... now. Uh, this topic is actually something that I'm glad is gone. And I kind of figured I'd be the last person on the planet to um, give this up. I think I was the last person on the planet to give up cable. And I am the last person on the planet to give this up. Because today we're going to pay tribute to... The old days of getting in our car with some money and shopping in stores. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, whatever happened to shopping in stores? All right, yes, that's right. Like I said, I was uh, the... I was always the advocate at Christmas time. Uh, anything that that Santa did not deliver, I was always pushing to get out to the stores and enjoy the experience uh, of the shopping. And uh, you know, uh, I, I was never going to give that up. I was never in favor of ordering stuff offline. I hated Amazon. I didn't want anything to do with it. Um, I wanted that experience uh, because of how great it used to be. You know, shopping, God, shopping in the 80s. I really think that the 80s was kind of the economical 
you know, boom. Credit cards were going crazy. I mean, you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't because we were all wealthy. It was because we all had credit cards and debt. And, you know, so we would hit the stores. And, and malls started, you know, becoming this can't-miss event. And, you know, toy stores were going crazy. And household, um, uh, you know, electronics and, and appliances were starting to modernize. And there was more selections. The 80s was really when we started getting more. Right, and so we 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 hit the malls hard. We hit the shopping centers. We hit the department stores, and we charged everything, and and shopped like beasts. And so it became, uh, it was it was an event. You know, shopping, shopping was kind of an all day uh, family event. It was it was enjoyable. You know, I remember, I remember actually not just not just know about, I actually remember, a store uh, called Woolworths. And uh, Woolworths was, you know, kind of your, your target and your Walmart of the 80s. Um, but what they did, and, and this was, I think, to cater to the moms, the, the stay-at-home moms uh, or, the, or the housewives, I guess, uh, who would shop during the day. They would, they would have a, a, a diner set up in the store, right? So you could go shopping and you could have lunch right there at the Woolworth counter. It was like, a, it was, it was like an actual diner counter. And, you know, they would, I'm sure that their menu wasn't deep, but you could get, you know, some coffee, which was, uh, you know, uh, a staple, uh, or I'm sure some desserts, or I'm sure some sandwiches, maybe some cold sandwiches, which, again, was, was huge. Because shopping, from my memory, especially with my grandmother and my mother, uh, when they would do, like, shopping events, it was, it was an all-day thing. You would, you would plan to have lunch, you know, you would shop, and then have lunch, and, and you'd shop again. You'd shop some more. Uh, because it was a thing. And uh, stores and, and malls were so much more appealing, uh, so much more enjoyable. Uh, the, the, whether it was the staff was, was more enjoyable. Uh, certainly the customers and the, 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 the people were much more enjoyable. Um, it, it was just, you know, a better time. Uh, back to school shopping, I remember, was huge. Uh, and, and I see a lot of kids at, at my work, uh, my, my, my business. Um, for those who don't know, I, I, I have my own uh, mental health and addiction, you know, counseling practice. Uh, and, and I see some kids. And, uh, you know, back to school, there, there really isn't, there isn't much, uh, it's not much of an event. And I remember uh, back to school shopping was... An event. It was it was the only thing that you really looked forward to, that had anything to do with back to school, and uh, because you were going to get fresh new gear. And I remember, you know, having a great time. Uh, this is probably when I was a little bit older, but I remember, you know, hitting the malls, and you know, uh, looking through the the new stuff, you know, the new clothes, and getting, you know, four or five outfits. <laughs> That, that that you know you would you would get ready to wear that school year, and of course you know the first day's outfit you had to even you know the boys did it. Don't don't you know don't pretend guys that you didn't do that that you didn't you know get your clothes ready for the first day of school, whether it was your fresh Dallas Cowboys starter hat or you know whatever. Um, but back to school shopping you know was was huge, and and now I don't even think kids do it. I, I think. I don't, I don't think new clothes is, is only a back-to-school thing. I just think, you know, kids wear whatever the heck they want, and, you know, it's, there's no, there's no back-to-school. I even enjoyed back-to-school uh, school supply shopping. You know, I enjoyed getting that list from school and, and hitting, the, hitting the discount stores and, you know, packing up the, the fresh folders and the fresh notebooks, just like this one, and your fresh pencils and your fresh pens. And, uh, but we did that all. We, we did that all you know, in the store, and it, and it was a good time, and the stores were advertising for it. You know, you'd start seeing the commercials on TV for back-to-school shopping in, like, July, and that would just crush you, because you realized, you know, it was coming. Uh, obviously, Christmas shopping in stores was massive. Uh, again, I remember my mother and grandmother um, 
just making like an entire day of it, you know, just getting in the car and going absolutely insane and, and probably eating lunch and dinner while, you know, hitting all the stores. And, you know, I, 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 I do it now, but it's, it's intolerable. I, I, I can't do it. You know, I can't, I can't be out there. And, and I, I, I think I know why, you know, we're going to talk about why in a minute, but uh, why, you know, why was it more tolerable back then? You know, why could we, why was shopping such an acceptable event now? And now all of us want to stay home and order our stuff online and have it sent to our house. Why? Are we lazier? No, we are absolutely not lazier. It's just much more unappealing. Uh, the, 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 the quality of people, you know, the quality of, of the, the places that we're going to shop at, the safety of the places that we're going to shop at is all gone downhill. And, and it makes the whole experience nauseating <laughs> for me. Um, man, I remember the, you know, when, when, you know, stores would, would really decorate for holidays, you know, Christmas decorations in stores was out, uh, outstanding. You know, I, I worked in a mall from like 95 to like 99 maybe. And, uh, man, that, that was like my favorite time of year, um, to go. And, and they decorate the malls today to a degree. I mean, it's, it's more, you know, it, it, I don't know. It's, it's a little condensed and it's, it's just, it's not the same. Uh, so why don't I why don't I shop today? Why don't I go out in stores today? Well, I hate them. <laughs> I, I hate absolutely everything about them. Uh, I would I would go on Amazon for uh, the simplest of things. I will go on Amazon. I I, I got a tablecloth for the uh, for the you know the patio table outside, and uh, I needed clips. I needed like clips to to like hold on the tablecloth during the the wind or whatever and i ordered them from amazon and they were like three dollars and 99 cents because i absolutely did not want to go to walmart i did not want to go to home depot because if i have to do that it seems that every experience that i have in those stores is negative right uh the the massive amounts of slow moving lines absolutely drives a person insane. Uh, you know, I don't know where the employees are. Uh, I don't know why. Literally 18 out of 20 lanes are closed in a Walmart. You know, nobody's, nobody's there. Nobody's working those lines. And uh, so you have to, you know, you have one item in your hand and you have to stand there and you have to wait, and you have to wait, and you have to wait. And, and something happens to me. I get extremely annoyed at the people in front of me. And I'm, and I'm even having like thoughts like, why, you know, why do you deserve to buy stuff? <laughs> you know, why, why do I have to stand behind you? you know, and then the guy behind me is thinking the same thing. Like, why, why do I have to stand behind you? You know, and so then they open these, uh, these self-checkout deals. And, and those are fine. Like, I'm, I'm okay with those. You know, I don't, I don't have a problem with those. I, I don't mind checking out myself, you know, but, uh, the, the in and out concept, you know, get in and get out doesn't exist. So I gladly hopped on Amazon and I mean, sometimes we'll order, if I'm out of deodorant or something and I don't feel like going to the store, I will order it on Amazon. It will come in the next day. You know, I have Amazon prime and it's just better. I, I don't, I don't want to go to the store. Uh, the people, you know, the people of, of the stores today, are again intolerable. Uh, I think our 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 level of uh, I think I think humans have have deteriorated, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I truly believe that we have deteriorated into um, an unacceptable bunch of people. You know, I, I don't uh, I, I don't like going to stores. I don't like seeing, uh, you know, bad attitudes and disrespectful people. I saw it a lot during the, the, the COVID times, you know, the, the mask versus unmask debate and people, people arguing, people fighting, and people getting killed over the mask versus no mask. And, and it just, you know, I, I just, 
that that kind of sealed it for me. Uh, I, I don't want anything to do with uh, mass amounts of people in stores. Um, you know, you're reading about you know horrible disasters and horrible events more and more. You know, shootings in Walmart and and assaults and things like that. And uh, you know, it's again we've we've degraded as a society, as a people, as a human race. And um, I don't want to. I, I will not willingly go out into it if I don't have to, if, if something like Amazon is available. Um, the, uh, the, the, the amount of ridiculous information that you have to give out before you are actually able to leave the store uh, sometimes drives me insane. Um, I, I don't, you know, I, like, I know I can just simply say, no, I'm not going to give you my phone number, my email address, my home address my license plate number, car make and model, um, you know, my, my favorite beverage, you know, shoe size. I know I can just say no, 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 no. But why do I have to? Why do I have to? I, you're standing behind, you're standing behind a machine. Uh, I'm handing you a product and you're typing it in. You're giving me a total. I'm paying you and I'm leaving. That's how this is supposed to work, right? And, and you know, but these, these companies... Uh, you know, it's all just an info grab so that they can clog up your email with garbage, uh, so they can rope you into some store discount card, which is an absolute piece of garbage every single time. Uh, I don't know why you need my phone number. I don't know why you need my zip code. I, I don't care that your company wants to uh, capture demographics and wants to know, you know, what zip codes are shopping most because that's very important for their store. Uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm not, I, again, I, I'm not, I'm not holding on to that. I don't, I don't think that you're going to steal any information from me. I just don't want to have to go through all of that because I've probably been waiting in the line for about 35 minutes. Uh, so I don't want to give you all of that information. So stop asking it. And Amazon does not ask. You know, so that's, uh, that's many, many reasons why I have finally... Uh, been turned off to in-person shopping. Now that doesn't mean I don't go. Obviously, you you kind of have to. But I, I have also grown more comfortable uh, paying a little bit more even for stuff that I will order from Amazon. Uh, now uh, you know I I made a deal with with Santa that I would be the one who's responsible for all the children's wrestling figures this year. So. Uh, I, I do have to hit up the Walmarts and Targets, but I will go by myself at a very, like, prime time for, you know, emptiness. Like, you know, first thing in the morning um, and sometimes midday, like noon, you know, I, it's tolerable, um, especially during school. You know, there's no kids. And, you know, so that's, uh, so I still go, but uh, I have no, you know, I'm, I'm there's, there's, there's nothing about Christmas shopping this year that I'm actually looking forward to. The, the, the you know, fighting the crowds and things like that. Uh, because, you know, again, uh, stock, stock has been deplorable for the last several years. Um, and, and, you know, it's not a COVID thing. It's not. Uh, it was a COVID thing when it was a COVID thing. Uh, but now it's even before then and, and, and after COVID, as we're coming out of it, stuff still has not returned to store shelves. You know, it, it's depleted. Walk up and down a, a Walmart toy aisle, especially the action figure aisle, and you'll see nothing. You know, you guys watched us try to try to hunt down AEW figures when they first came out, and that was just pathetic. Um, wh whatever happened to store stock? You know, look at look at some of these images of, of like, uh, th these are actual toy store shelves from back in the day. I mean, wh what is that? Like, uh, like hundreds of Star Wars figures? Hundreds of He-Man figures and play sets and castles just stacked floor to ceiling at a toy store? Uh, was the concept of scalpers around back then? I don't think so. You know, what was the secondary market back then? You know, in the '80s, you know, if I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that there were dudes look, that looked like me uh, back in 1986 or 1985 standing there when Toys R Us first opened to grab all of the LJN figures so that they could scalp them. 
where where's the market? You know, where would they scalp them at? You know, a garage sale? You know, a flea market? There was no eBay. There was no you know there was no uh, no real selling options. You know, what are you gonna do? Like, you know, have one of those trench coats and, and flip it open, and there's all the LJNs that you scalped. So so that's a that's a new concept. You know, people just destroying the. Uh, destroying the fun of, of shopping, you know, because they've gotten there early uh, and they've they've bought up everything so they can make, you know, eight to ten dollars on resale. And that's pathetic. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, and, 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 and I'm and I'm getting more angry about it because I have children who truly want to play with this stuff. And, um, you know, it's sitting in some dork's basement uh, as he's as he's, you know, taking photos of it to put it up on eBay again to make twelve dollars which you know i guess if that's important to you but you know so uh so i've 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 turned a corner i have uh i have uh i have become an online shopper uh ringside collectibles is wonderful uh for the most part the, the prices are kind of you know not that great i think i think uh yeah, they're not that great. Uh, an Elite is fifteen ninety seven at Walmart. A Mattel Elite, and um, and Ringside will have them for twenty six ninety nine. You know, and that's that's too much. That's you know, that's a f that's a ten dollar increase or whatever. Uh, Heroes Hideout is is some good online stuff. Obviously, eBay is still fine. Amazon is still the king for me. Uh, again, for everything from patio furniture to deodorant is coming from Amazon because I don't want to go to the store. Uh, so whatever happened to uh, shopping? Well, people happened. That's, that's what happened. Um, people, attitudes, um, fights, you know, uh, rudeness. Um, that's what happened, you know. That's, that's what happened to shopping. And, and for a lot of us, we stay home. Uh, and we don't have to deal with with the with the stress of it, and 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 I have become one of them, sadly. Whatever happened to shopping, guys? Put it, put down some of your memories, some of your memories of shopping. Do you still do it? I mean, do you still like? Do you still like the crowds? You know, the Black Friday concept, which hmm. <laughs> for no amount of money would you ever have me out at a Black Friday? Now I have gone, uh, but it's like. It's it's later. It's when it's all died down, and and you know the 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 TV that you know the seventy, you know the seventy eight inch television for two ninety nine at Best Buy, you know, that's either gonna be there still, uh, or it's gone in the first five seconds. So it doesn't matter either way. Uh, but do you still do it? Do you still shop? Do you still get out there? Have you still boycotted Amazon like I did up until a few years ago? Put it down below, as the kids say. And uh, we'll be back. You know, I'm gonna want to fill up this notebook that I did not get from Amazon. I got it at a good old-fashioned garage sale. Until then, ladies and gentlemen. Good night now. <laughs>